What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are doing fantastic as always. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button to stay with the content. Sorry, the light's probably right in your face. Uh, today, kind of kind of done with the, the solid axle swap side of things. Oh, come on, focus, maybe. Uh, so I'm going to cut more holes in uh, my cab, which my cab is shot, my bed is shot, and I'm discovering this hole now. Uh, it's definitely not going to look pretty. But, we already cut the hole in the floor for the shifter. Uh, I explained it yesterday in the other video. I bought, uh, so usually the clutch pedals assemblies are plastic from GM, I don't know why. But there's a guy who, uh, I don't know if he wants to put his stuff out there, but anyways, there's a guy who sells metal clutch pedal assemblies. And I, I bought one from him. And basically, we're gonna go over installing that today. But like I showed you yesterday, there is a pilot hole. Oh, yep, right there. So that's the pilot hole. As you can see on the inside of the cab, we're gonna drill through that. I got some hardware because the other part that we need to do, okay. All right. uh, we need to mount the pedal to those two let me see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, right there. Those two bolts are what holds the actual pedal assembly. So I'm going to drill the hole. And I'm going to try and get some bolts I bought in there. I don't know how good it's it's going to work. I might have to weld some tabs on. So that way they don't spin inside of there. If you know what I'm saying. But anyways, that's on the, uh, the agenda for today. Gonna get going on this and see how much progress we can make. I have to go to work in a little bit, so just kind of pressing along, getting everything done. That Alrighty, can. so if you have a 90 degree drill, probably the best to use for getting this hole, but mine is at the other shop. And the amount of time it would take me to drive over there, it was easier just to pull this fuse box. There's four screws, two in the wall, and then two on the bottom that go in those holes right there. And then you can kind of move this hole box out of the way which I'm gonna do and then drill that hole it took me about two minutes to pull it out so it's not very hard Let's see if we can. just get it out of the way enough to get the drill down in there all right so on to the next day after some yelling and some fighting and giving up kind of because I had to go to work uh, I actually have the clutch pedal bracket up in there. I don't have it mounted yet. I still got to work on the bolts because I dropped one. So I'm going to build a little, I'm going to get another bolt, put them in there. Uh, I'm going to weld like a, uh, basically like a plate and weld the two bolts to it so I can drop it down in the back and put it in so I don't have to hold it. Um, but other than that, I don't know if we're going to be able to see. It's sitting through the firewall. Uh, I have I have a master for it, but I think I might wait and just order a new one. Um, but as you can see, it is through the, the wall there. So the whole fit, um, just need to get everything kind of cleaned up. And with that, all we need to do is bolt that in and bolt the pedal in. And that's the hardest part of the, the trans swap. So, according to everyone, that's the hardest part. So, once that's done, and um, we get the new clutch, once we get the new clutch, we can basically put the trans in. So I gotta put the manual back together. Uh, just so you guys know, just for a little more detail on how I did this. There is, I don't know if you can see it, but see the metal, the metal backing of the dash right there? I had to go in, first I was below that. So you can see right there, kinda, kinda that back part, the metal piece in the back there, right there. I was underneath that, getting stuck in this hole where the fuse panel is. So you have to come in on an angle and go up above it and then just make sure you're not pinching any wires but go up above it and then slide it up and push in the firewall it's actually fairly easy um I, I was really expecting it to be days and days and days of work because everyone says it's the worst part uh, a lot of people say you gotta take like 
the the freaking mounting thing for all the brake stuff. But I got it in just fine. I have to tighten a few things back up. But other than that, I'm gonna see how much further we can get. Maybe get this bolt situation figured out. Um, but we'll see. I'm gonna just keep pressing along. See, there's only so far I can go, you know. But maybe we'll get the master set up depending on condition and all that good stuff. So enough rambling. The clutch is just about in. Just gotta bolt it. And uh, it's going pretty smoothly so far. So I'm pretty pumped. I'm so ready just to to drive this thing. I cannot freaking wait. So lift should be here tomorrow for the back. That's about it. I'm trying to get everything ordered today. Or no, maybe I'll be here Wednesday. I forget what day of the week it is. Going with alligator today to get everything else ordered and we should be ready to go. So not having any factory GM or not any factory ZF6 stuff. Uh, I wanted to figure out a way to mount these bolts without having to, to um, hold them or see if I could get it done. So this is what I made. I got two bolts that fit back there. Just took a little piece of plate steel and kind of welded a bridge to it. It fits. Um, it will hold the bolts so I don't have to spin it. Uh, it's kind of like the normal like riveted plates or whatever, but a little homemade. Save myself some money so I don't have to order anything from the dealership. Uh, very easy. You know, just welded it right up cooled it off so now we're gonna go ahead and put this in I'm gonna drop it down the back side so I don't know if you guys were able to see anything that I was doing yesterday so they it needs to go back behind this uh, this bracket and there's like a channel back there so but I dropped one bolt down in in here already so I need to need to go buy another one so that's what I did this morning so I bought another one uh, I'm gonna try and like feet fish this down the back side and slide it through the two holes and hopefully not drop it and lose it forever Cause I'll be pretty mad, but it does fit. This is pretty simple to do. Nothing crazy. So I'm gonna get this in, get the clutch pedal and bolt it in, and then we'll put the actual clutch pedal in. Probably gonna have to, we're gonna have to trim this too. So we'll figure that out shortly. But that's where we're at. I'll catch up in a second. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda had to manhandle this bracket and bend it a little bit cause my screws were a little too long. But I got the plate in. Uh, I'm gonna reinstall the clutch bracket and I'm gonna tighten up all the nuts that I loosened on the, the back metal plate. And hopefully that is it for what we have to do with the clutch and everything. I'm just worried about that, that plate falling back, but we should be fine. I'm gonna snug everything up and hopefully the clutch will be hanging here shortly. The hard part is about over. Uh, I just need to snug up these bolts, but I have everything set up in there. I just need to get the pedal put in there, which shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, but yeah, so my little plate work, had to manhandle it, but got everything in. Like I said, I put the front part of this clutch bracket up and then slid the back up from like, like this area, kind of angled it up and pushed it in. But basically that completes the install. I got to put the pedal in, which I'll go over next in the spring. Probably should have done that first. But this kind of made it easier doing it this way, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's looking good though. We're making progress. Goal is to drive the truck by this weekend, but we'll see. As you can see, well, it's kind of, I gotta cut the brake pedal still, but we have the man pedal. I don't know if you can see too good. Installed. So I need to trim this, but other than that, it's all in. Uh, I don't know if you can see right there the spring. So. I don't know if you're supposed to put them in assembled or or not, but here, let me get a light up here. So, oh, up there is the bolt for it. Uh, so, as I showed you, I installed the whole bracket assembly, and then I slid the pedal up here and put the bolt through, and then connected the spring up there. Now, what I suggest to you is... is before, because I, I had to fight with it because I didn't do this, but if you're going to do this, install the spring on the top bracket first. So put it through the loop at the top, so it's an arch, there's a little hole, and um, this is for the metal clutch assemblies that you can buy. Um, and you, you put the spring through the hole and clamp it, and then install it so that way it's already up there. And then you just hook it to the pedal when you're done. You don't have to fight with it too much. But everyone says the clutch pedal is the hardest part of the 
the manual swap and we're done. So I did order a South Bend dual disc street clutch. Uh, I ordered, what else did I order? I ordered new air dog filters, new fast filters for the red truck. Uh, shocks will be here someday when we figure out what size we need. The lift will be here Wednesday. Got to finish all the, the motor up. I put the fuse box all back together. I just ordered a new clutch master slave and throw out bearing kit, which was like $500. But other than that, that should be absolutely everything needed that we for the truck. So the goal is to have it running, driving this weekend, Sunday, Monday, maybe into next week, but hopefully take it on a test drive this weekend. That would be kind of the ultimate goal here what we're kind of shooting for. I need to jack up, finish the front end. I need to throw the brakes on, which I have this side. These are the pieces I had to special order. Um, just so you guys know, it's 7 16 by 24 for stock Chevy threads, but no one seems to know that, but I figured it out. And then I uh, AN negative three adapter to a custom line. I got some clamps that are gonna hold this line. We're gonna get it all bounded up and everything over to the brake. I have the rotors pretty much, I mean the calipers pretty much set up with the nipples on them for the same A and negative three lines that I got. This is my shelf of Duramax life. Got the transfer cases, all the other good stuff. So we are just about there. Um, yeah, I mean hopefully we're running this weekend. That's kind of the goal. I'd like to have everything in, running, ready to rip this weekend. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope this install helps you. I hope, you know, all this, this mumbo jumbos with the clutch pedal really kind of helps some people because I know there wasn't really too much on it before, but I'm super pumped. Everything is kind of falling into place to, like now. The, the grind is on. Probably won't have a video out for a few days because I got a few things to take care of this week with my real job and then we will be back to working on this probably all day friday saturday and sunday and hopefully by sunday night we are taking it for a test drive so as always thank you guys so much i'm so excited that we're like this close to so close so close so stay tuned guys make sure you subscribe hit that little bell turn on those post notifications if you want to see this done we're freaking almost there and you know if something breaks it breaks but all we need oh you know what we'll have to see if we can use my stock drive shaft because if not i have an aluminum one that i'm going to get cut and made um i don't want to drive it too far with bad angles because i don't want to crack the, tra the tail housing that we're trying to make so i do need to reassemble the transmission which i'll probably do tomorrow so I will go over that in a video is putting this back together for now. Going to get some other stuff, but I, I, I'm done rambling. We're, we'll catch up in a later video. Thanks for the, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Well, we'll drive it soon. We'll drive it soon.